first subsection then you are moving to the second then if you reach to the last fourth round that is a game based aptitude then you have cleared the first round like uh, for the four lpa job and oh. you are proceeding to interview and uh, the like in our college uh, total 121 candidates shortlisted for capgemini and out of that uh, 25 to 30 candidate candidates have moved to the coding round which is uh, basically for the higher package okay so you cleared the first round the four lpa round and then you move to the second round perfect yeah. very good to hear that now tell me what happened in the second round that's the most important uh, because you had to code it right yes ma'am three questions no two questions ma'am two questions okay what were those questions which language did you use and te- tell us everything about question? that so so in that in that round i have two questions like everyone has two questions and uh, the questions are different for everyone okay so i got the questions on array only and i have prepared array very well and uh, we have one hour time limit and i used to manage the to turn that board of the questions in 8 minutes only <laughs> and i was the first one to stand up yeah. like everyone was thinking like uh, how he like everyone thinking like he must be not knowing the answer so he's yeah. leaving yeah yeah so and what then was after... the question array based i got it that's 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 what you understood after looking at the question and you decided to solve it in that way but what was the question uh ma'am i don't remember but uh, it's very easy like uh, if you are doing a code chef or something mm-hmm. hacker rank and if contest in that question in that contest if you are doing at least three questions starting three question yeah. then you would be able to clear that round easy level yeah ma'am easy to lower medium like lower that lower medium okay okay makes sense and what was the second question second also on the array only uh, i remember one of the question was like uh, uh, you have to figure out the uh, largest element and need to swap with some element and uh, make a array continuous or something like that it was like this okay okay, yeah. okay. makes sense so you solved both the questions in 8 minutes too fast yes ma'am perfect yeah. so when did <laughs> after me mm-hmm. yeah, after me uh, one girl also stood up and he was the second one so yeah. we both proceed to a5 analyst round like oh. interview for the a5 yeah out of 121 we two were the ones like who would be interviewing for the higher package okay only two of you out of 121 students like uh, the first round who cleared is uh, 4 lpa and then yeah. the one who cleared coding round yeah. is eligible for 8.5 lpa and we two were eligible for a5 analyst a5 i analyst. don't know the yeah. i think it's around 8.5 lpa or something yes yes makes sense so after that what happened like the same day did uh, they declare the result and oh no it took time like around 5 to 6 days or a week Okay, they took six days to, or a week. Let's say a week to declare the results. Then, yes. uh, what was the next round? Technical Then, interview uh, happened. Yeah, yeah, it's a technical interview. Next happened yes. technical interview in your college only. No, ma'am, it's online. Online. Okay. So, what questions did they ask, and how many interviewers were there in the panel? So, only one sir was there. Sir. Single interview. Okay. Single interview. Okay. and uh, he started with the introduction like introduce yourself and then he jumped the oops section like explain everything you know about oops and i started all the sto- topic and encapsulation polymorphism abstraction inheritance and all that mm-hmm. then he uh, asked, like explain the types of inheritance all the inheritance that you know yeah. and then i explained and uh, then he told me to open to your code editor yeah and he Need to uh, implement uh, multiple inheritance, and by mistake I implemented uh, like similar topic uh, multi level inheritance, oh. and then I completed and the code ran very well. And he hmm. told me, did I uh, tell you to implement multiple inheritance or multi level? And then I was like, oh sir, it was uh, the one. <laughs> and then he please pay pay attention and <laughs> be serious. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, I. <laughs> i may be doing something wrong and then i correct the code and that also ran well and then he asked me about uh, like my specialization is in artificial intelligence then he asked me what have you done in artificial intelligence like your project or anything else 
then i told him that uh, in the fourth uh, year I, we have a major project uh, and we are building a project on ai and ml uh, using machine learning only okay. then i told him that it's not complete but i have a idea and i can explain then yeah. i explain like a little bit like uh, it's about uh, uh, healthcare uh, application web application in which uh, if you we have taken actually uh, seven to eight diseases uh, skin cancer diseases Okay. And if you upload the image of that uh, area of that affected area, yeah. then it will take the most uh, preferable out of the seventh uh, out of the seven diseases. So he said okay, and then he told me uh, like this was only the questions I was asked with. Yeah. And then he told me to stay uh, stay in front of your laptop. I am going somewhere. I have work. I am uh, switching off my camera and microphone. Yeah. You, please you have to switch on your camera and microphone and you have to sit okay. and i was sitting and there was no one in the no one on the other side i was just sitting and looking at the camera i was like they was they must be looking for something in a candidate and i was yeah. sitting straight and looking at the camera and then after 5 minutes he came and he asked me do you have any question yeah. i asked like what uh, work i have to do what text tag i will be using if i get a chance to work with you yeah. he told me that you will be using react and like web development framework oh. uh, i was like oh, so you are no getting problem. the web development domain in gapgemini they told me but uh, i think that was the role for the a5 analyst hmm. and i didn't select it for that okay then i was in and uh, uh, i then he asked me do you have any other question and then yeah. i asked uh, the question like uh, uh, what are the technologies uh, capgemini is looking to work with in the future yeah and he told like, uh, we are providing service to the newly startup and ai generated ideas also yeah uh, then he start again like do you have any other question like you know, i have studied like uh, two to three questions are enough to ask from the interviewer then i said uh, no sir i don't have any question then he said okay we are done from my side yeah. and uh, Okay, so thank you for having. Me. Yeah, okay. that was okay. It. Perfect. So, uh, did you also do any internships? No, ma'am. No internships. I I was getting an in the Noida only. Hmm. It was I used but like uh, but uh, it was like uh, nine to six, nine to seven job, and I was like it is an internship and uh, I can't give this much time. I have to study other study things also. also. Yeah. It was in my fourth year. I have yeah. I haven't studied any. college uh, yeah so okay. i declined okay perfect yeah. so which coding language did you use to uh, do those uh, two coding questions in the final round yeah, i chose c++ man c++ you are comfortable with c++ theek hai chalo done so tell me after that what happened did you also have any hr round no ma'am only technical round only technical yeah. okay perfect so uh, you are joining as a4 analyst did not clear a5 Okay. So did you also sign any uh, training agreement or any agreement with Capgemini? Uh, 